Alright, so up guys, and today I want to do the sort of a top 5 list of games that you should definitely check out in the 2015 Winter Steam Sale. These are not the biggest games and not the most obscure games either, these are just like in the middle, you know, the, the games that you may ha maybe have heard of and maybe even considered buying, but you're, you're kind of on the fence of it. So, the first spot definitely has to go to Killing Floor 2, which is still an early access game and it's been out for about half a year. And the developers have just recently added an entirely new class, an entirely new boss, a couple of new maps and a market system which I think kinda adds more depth to the game. You can get like drops, you know, sell them for steam money and just, you know, do all this kind of stuff similar to CSGO but definitely not on its level just yet. Um, so it's still an early access, it's a very good zombie um, killing game, I think it's sort of one of the better ones out there, there are definitely a lot of zombie killing games, but I think this one is... Um this one is one of the better ones out there. If you want to have more complete experience with the Killing Floor game or just you're not sure about buying Killing Floor 2 yet, you can always just buy Killing Floor 1, which has uh, which has been out for uh, like six years now or something. It's just quite a bit longer. And it's, um, you know, it has a lot of DLCs you can buy and it has a lot of maps, a lot of stuff. Still a lot of people playing it and a lot of people consider it a more complete experience com compared to Killing Floor 2 just because there's a lot more stuff in there. Number 4 has to go to the first two Witcher games and um, it kind of bugged me when people that never played a Witcher game suddenly started playing Witcher 3 and were like, oh my god, the best thing ever, I want more of this, and were demanding more of this, and they have never even played the first two Witcher games, they never even attempted to play them, you know, like, I want more games like Witcher 3, then I, you know, told them buy the first two Witchers and they were like what's that so you know it's <laughs> a lot of people want games like Witcher 3 and are I think missing out on the first two Witchers for quite um for quite a while this has been happening I don't know why the first Witcher game is incredibly awesome <laughs> and for some reason people just don't really give it that much time of the day because um, you know Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 are just incredible games. They're much better than the first Witcher, but I think the first Witcher, given that it only costs like one dollar right now on Steam, I think it's very much worth your money. I mean like the dollar to hour ratio is just insane for Witcher 1. So you should definitely check out the first two Witcher games if you haven't already. And if you have, then you know, just play through them again. It only costs one like one euro. It's like that's like insane value. <laughs> and uh, the second one should cost like three euros, I think. So it's still pretty good. The th third spot on my list has to go to Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. Both of these games are incredible. They are some of the best first-person shooter experiences I've ever played. And even if you haven't read the books, which I haven't read both of them, but even if you haven't read the books, this is a great, um, a great way to get you introduced to uh, the to the story of the Metro. And um, while you're at it, actually, you might as well buy the Redux uh, versions because they are greatly improved. The graphics are. Um, they're much better. Overall, the games look just fancier, and there's a lot more content for Last Light and even uh, 2033. The, the actually, 2033 has been complete, completely revamped in the Redux um, version or redo, I guess. And um, yeah, so definitely check out the Metro games. They are some of the best first-person shooter experiences you'll ever have, and. Um, I can guarantee that. Number two on my list has to go to the game that actually you're watching in the background, which is Torchlight 2. And by many accounts, Torchlight 2 is a better Diablo game than Diablo itself. It's, um, of course, it's an action RPG. It's, uh, it's, you know, it copies Diablo, the first two Diablos, essentially. And uh, it's, um, it's got a little older, you know, it came out a couple of years ago, it's, um, it's much better than, uh, than the first Torchlight, many people say. I mean, they're very similar, but the first Torchlight isn't as uh, open-world-ish, it's more linear, so if you're into more linear games, then definitely check out the first Torchlight. If you want a more open-world experience, then check out the second Torchlight. 
and um, they might as well buy them both, they're on sale now. <laughs> so just go check them out and uh, definitely pick up at least one of them because these games, these games are just amazing. And the number one spot on my list as to what game you should definitely check out on the winter steam sale is whatever you want. These steam sales are for you to enjoy, to buy and enjoy the games that you couldn't because they were too expensive. So don't listen to any lists and just pick out the games that you want and you feel are going to be really amazing. Check out some reviews, maybe check out some gameplays on YouTube and just decide for yourself because ultimately no one is going to dictate your taste in games better than you are. So, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, enjoy the holidays, and see you next time.